welcome at tutorial number 63 of the EEP10 model railway simulator. Still working on our universal control and in the previous video we did a detailed design of our control system and well in this video we will start to build it in EEP. Let's go over there. Okay Probably it's quite difficult to s even see uh, this control uh, uh, on the video, so first thing that we are going to do is change uh, the landscape and then over here click this one and now it should be a bit easier to see. Well, let's first start to work on our North 4 train, the single track control to go to South 2. That's an easy one and uh, maybe we can get that train to run also on the west side. Let's have a look at the design that we did. Uh, what needs to happen over here? If oh, I already made it green, that is a bit premature of course. This is what we are going to work on, the north 4 to south 2 and what we can see in our main design is we only need to do something on the single track east. So we go to our single track east design and we see that we have over here pillar 1. And pillar 1, that is this one, east pillar 1, so we need to do something over here. What are we going to do? Well, first thing that we are going to do is uh, place a group contact. Uh, that means we can save all the other sensors that we need in there. Alright, well, let's do some thinking out loud. When our control car can reach this group sensor, first thing that we want, this is the request switch. The first thing that we are going to do is to reset that request switch to and it has to be reset to vaart. Right click on it and you see it is vaart. Okay, I click here on the junction and then over here and oops, it does not place my sensor there. Why not? I don't know. EEP has its quirks. So I need to move it a bit and then uh, try to get it where I want it. Yeah, inside the group contact. Okay. The second thing that we need to do is to block the single track uh, so that our control car now does not go into the pillars but it goes straight. So I have to do this. Oh, I also need to connect that one. You remember from the spreadsheet that if this one goes, that one also needs to be blocked and the other way around so I can easily connect them. Let's do that first. Let's connect them. We do that this way. Right click and then say I have a connection to number 24. And Fart is Fart and Upswike is Upswike. That's taken care of. So now they should always go together. Yes, they do. Okay, I have to go to uh, Fart and that means that oh, I can place a sensor for the junction over here that says go to fart yes so now i have uh, taken away my request and i have taken care that the single track is occupied now the train can go if it can go then it will go and we have to set this junction i want it to go to s2 so it has to be set to upswike okay let me place a sensor for that over here and it has to go to upswike. Yes, that works. And oh, the final thing that we have to do is we can now open the the gate. We can set the signal to green, and that is a signal sensor that we need. Click the signal first, and then click the sensor icon and place that sensor over here. It has to go to fart. Yes, that's okay. Well, that should do it. Uh, I'm not yet going to tell. Oh, well, th th that should not do it. I still have to make the request. Uh, this is the junction for the request. We have to set it to upswike if we want something to happen. 
Well, let me put the 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 sensor for that over here. That means that if the train comes over here, immediately it sends a request to go away again. Yeah. So this uh, junction, this junction, should get a sensor somewhere over here. Okay, which direction is that? I cannot see, uh, but it has to go to Upswijk, and well, it looks that it uh, is in the right direction. And also the other way around, uh, when the train has entered this track too, we can set free the single track again. So also that, that was this one, has to get a sensor over here. And direction we will see, it is for the train end and it can go to Upswijk again. Yeah, that's in the right direction. Let's make it a bit closer. So. That should do it. Uh, uh, I'm going to test it after I also did this work for uh, the west side. It's exactly the same, so let's do it again. I first place a group contact so that we can store uh, all the sensors. Then uh, what we do is we reset the request. Okay, that is the same happening again. Yes, that is done. Then we set this one to fart so that no new no other trains can enter. Then we have to set these junctions. Yeah, those those are three junctions, but okay, uh, that's life. Uh, one, two, three, that are have to be set all have to be set to fart, so well, let's just not worry and start, just start doing that. Oh, that places its sensor over there, that is weird, uh, I don't know why. Let's do it again, uh, can we can we help that? Oh um, boy, what is EEP doing now? Well, I, I, I don't know, let's try it over here then. Oh, okay, that worked. Can I get it over there now? Yes, maybe. Yes. Okay, that is too far. This one also needs to go too far. Ah, that works better. And this one. Oh, I hope I can touch that one. Yes, that also has to go too far. Okay, I have set the junctions. After I have set the junctions, I can open up the gate. So let's make a signal sensor first click the signal and then the sensor icon and place a fart sensor over there so it now opens the gate do i already get a request no i don't get a request yet so i have to make a request sensor and that is going to put over here if the train is here i get my request for the single track that is to upswike and that is the wrong direction okay yes that is the right direction and also i have to set my sing oh, set my single track free again that was this junction may go to upswike and it may do that is if the end of my train is somewhere over here so end of the train and go to upswike Yes, that is okay. That is indeed the right direction. And let me put it a bit over here somewhere. Okay, that was uh, a little bit of work, but not to worry. We are going to test it. Let's have a look. Uh, first thing to do is the mouse is not going into the pillars. Uh, that means that, uh, but the single track is free. So our start up situation should be this the single track is free. Ah, I now see that I forgot something to do something over here. I have to make a connection between these two switches still. So let's do that. Uh, I have to connect this one to number 18. And that is fart to fart and upswijk to upswijk. So that connection is made. Does it work? Yes, it works. Okay, back to F7. Yes, so yeah, the single track is free, uh, so the mouse goes into the pillars to check if it can do something, and over here too. Now, what, what uh, does not happen, we have a sensor over here that sends a requests over here, 
but the train has already passed there. So I will do that manually now, and then we will see if the train goes. Uh, yes. Yes, it goes. Well, let's have another camera position so that we can see what happens. You see the single track is now occupied. Yeah, the, our, our sensor is set to, to do that. And once the end of the train is here, it will set this uh, track free again. And also we have reset our request, as you can see. So let's wait a little moment until the train is there. And then I will stop it and then we go to another camera. Okay, let's see, yeah, uh, almost now, look at it, look at it, yes, there it went. So the track is free again, and my mouse is going to check for other actions. I go to another camera view now. Uh, oh, this view is better. And now we are going to have a little look at uh, this uh, single track protection. My train is going to hit this sensor in a second. This sensor was doing a request over here. And when my control car is going in this group sensor, then uh, it opens the gate, it sets all these junctions, and it re resets the stuff over here. So let's have a look if that works. Yes, there we go. Uh, all right, it already happened, didn't it? Yes, the request is done. Yes, the signal green and, well, the junctions, you have to believe me, they will be switched. So, I think that our train will now simply run to North 4. And once it is there, the whole circuit, the, the whole uh, sequence starts again, because it is going to do the request for the... Uh, single track east again. Over here we have built the request sensor that goes straight over here. So take care, in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 seconds this junction will go. Uh, yes, there it goes. And now we are going on the single track again. Well, I think we can uh, pat ourselves on the shoulder because this seems to work. Uh, let's go to the overview again. And, well, let's wait one more cycle uh, of the uh, single track over here, and then we will close this video. And in the next video, we will start to build the north to south track 1, 2, 3 single track requests. Okay, we get a request in a second, that is over here. Yes, there it is. And uh, mouse goes over there opens the gate, it works, and our north to south train will keep running in circles until eternity. Of course, what you can do is uh, this uh, request sensor, this request sensor that is over here, let me show it, this is our request sensor, you can give it a time delay if, if, if this is a passenger train and you want to simulate that it holds here for let's say a minute then of course you just put delay of one minute in this sensor and then it will wait here for one minute and only after one minute it sets the request over there yeah that is of course uh, something that you can do to build in a little bit of a realism all right, let's wait until my train is there and then uh, we will stop this video. And of course we save what we have till now so that we can build upon it uh, the next time. Let me already do that. Save, yes, save. Okay, see you in the next video.